Hey, it's Kendall Lee, the Gulf Coast baller, the Panhandle Pro from Pensacola, Florida. And we are back with another Smoke Screen exclusive. Y'all already see, you see who on the screen. Y'all see <laughs> who I got with me, man. Now, I've already talked to Ebony. And, you know, this is the hottest movie out right now. Got everything buzzing. I ain't even going to take no more time. I got the one and only King Wesley with me. What's happening, man? Man, what's going on, Rudy? Man, I appreciate you bringing me on, and uh, you know, <laughs> so I can get my side of, of these things off. That's what I'm bit, talking about, and we're <laughs> and we gonna get to that in a minute. We're gonna get to that <laughs> in a minute, but I appreciate you taking your time to stop by the smoke screen. So, for the people out there, man, just let them know uh, where you from and you know, your upbringing and a little bit about yourself. Yeah. Man, my name is King Wesley, as you stated. I'm from Detroit by way of Yonkers, New York. Um, mm. we have Yonkers. You. Yeah, you will see. DMX, right. the locks. Mary J. Blige. J. Blige. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now they got King Wesley to pull up. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm 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 a D I'm from Yonkers, but Detroit has been home, man, for the last 30 plus years or whatever. And um, you know, I've uh I like the D, man. The D is cool. The D is one thing about the D, man. You can make it here. I know they say that about New York, but if you can really make it here, because Detroiters, man, we 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 get to it. You know what I mean? We turn we turn a little bit of nothing into a whole lot of everything. You know what I'm saying? It's so cold in the D. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, man. I'm, I'm trying hey, look, to come, I'm trying classic. to come up there. I'm trying man, to come up come there, on. man. I see that. I see that award show. It's my birthday weekend, man. So like, I'm trying to possibly which, which one? That it's like the Detroit uh Image or whatever awards. It's like in okay. September. Oh yeah, the Image Awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, September. man. I, I seen that. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to get up there. Um, if I ain't got no other uh engagements, get up there for my birthday weekend. I never been to Detroit and um get the chance to rock with some of y'all and slide around town. So, uh, absolutely, man, we gotta I, get you some I, Tony you, Allen, man. You know, okay, <laughs> you know, Talk to me. <laughs> now, how you how did you get into acting? I got into acting. Well, let me get let me let me let me let me take you down a little memory lane, okay? What made me even get you know become interested in acting? Um, I grew up, I'm a granny's baby, mm -hmm. and um, you sit around, you know. Watch the stories with my grandma, watch some sitcoms, you know, the Cosby's, um, you know, different world, you know, mm -hmm. her, she had her soap operas and things. And um, me being like a six, seven, eight year old little kid, I, I realized I had a gift back then. Okay. Of remembering things. So back then, you know what I mean? I mean, we still have them today, but they was just played frequently, you know what I mean? And, uh, and when them runs would pop up i noticed that you know i will only had watched the show one time and i'm i'm remembering certain characters line. Line. yeah so i kind of you know i kind of knew i had some but i thought that was just natural for everybody that everybody could remember um but truth be told it was it, it was something that I, I as i got older i started to explore so uh -huh. around the age of like 21 20 I, um, I was in the military, and there was a situation where, right after the 9/11 attacks, actually, we had to go out. I was a, uh, we had to deploy like immediately, and we spent, ended up spending 159 days. And um, talking about, you know, we 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 talking about 159 days straight to where it was just, it was just crucial, and people was losing morale. So um, there was a chief petty officer, first slash uh, chief petty officer. Um, he uh, he created this drama club, you know, and this was this was like like one of my first times like even like displaying any type of acting. So I went in. He had an audition, and he gave me a scenario. So we was doing improv. We would it was, it was never nothing like wrote out or anything. It was just basically it all improv. And I went in there, man, and and I embodied that that role. And he was like, man, you, you ever took classes huh? where I'm from, you know, you know, Detroit, we ain't even, you know, we ain't even tapped into that market. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because at that time when I had left, 
the only people that was doing it was, you know, I ain't racist. It was the white people. You know what I mean? That was that was it. Um, but it, and even then, it wasn't like in the inner city. You know what I mean? Like it is now. Like it's about any quarter in the in the, in the city of the Detroit, and a camera up, somebody filming, somebody on set somewhere. So, yeah, and, and it's in the but you know it started from there. I came home, and um, I did take like uh, I did take one actor's class over in the city called Royal Oak. But after that, man, it was just on and popping since. Got busy, met okay. with the stage plays because I come from the stage world, you know. Um, I didn't just okay. drive right off into film. I come from, you know, actually, I, and I've done over like thirty different stage plays. Interesting. So, what was the what was the first movie you did? Like, what was the first shot you had? The very first movie that I did was it was a movie called um, actually. Yeah, it was called Dream Big. Okay. It was Dream Big. Then it didn't. It didn't. That wasn't the movie that people like. It wasn't. It didn't go to like the theaters or nothing. But that was like mm-hmm. the first movie I had done. But the first movie where, you know, I hit the big screen. Um, shout out to Dennis Reed. Uh, it's a movie called True Law. I was played your um, the role. Huh? Your break, like your breakthrough role. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was yep. That was that's that's when I got that's when I caught fire. Uh, not really caught fire, but that's when people started to notice me. Um, you say Dennis Reed did that too? Yep, Dennis Reed. It's, I gotta, it's entitled I gotta get Dennis on the show. I, I, a lot of his, a lot of his stuff I've been uh, watching and reviewing. Okay, I go back with Dennis, man. He wasn't the first person that I worked with, like in the theater, but I've done a couple of stage plays. Dennis comes. He was he was a play writer at first. Actually, he mm. wrote books. Actually, he wrote books first. Then he Makes converted sense. some of them books into stage plays and then moved on to the film. You know what I mean? So I was able Makes to rock sense. with him in that phase. You know what I mean? That transition phase from. Okay, okay. So I was uh, checking out your IMDb. I like to do my due diligence, man. And I see you got the opportunity to star in White Boy Rick and the Bobby Brown story. Tell me about those experiences. So, uh, the white boy, Rick, it was, um, they added me to the credits. It, I was, I was just an extra, I was featured, uh, I played Art Derrick's bodyguard. Um, it, the, the director, when I, uh, when I got cast to be an extra back in, I forgot what year that was, 2016, 2017, cause I hadn't had no major film production etiquette. I hadn't, I hadn't been on no major film everything that I had okay. done up to that part was all independent. So I, I wanted to really see what it was like. And um, shout out to my homeboy, Danny Brown. Danny Brown, he's a rapper from Detroit. Um, oh, you, you okay, you know, uh, you and Danny cool? Yeah, that's for, like my little brother. Like, we, you know what I'm saying? He's from the east side. Like, that's my guy. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, shout and out he to got, Danny. Yeah, he was cast as um, a big, big hit. It was a big Hess. Hess, I think his name was the movie. Uh, anyway, it was just to show you how God aligned things. I come in, I was cast for extra to do this club scene. And the club scene was actually a scene that he was in when he gets into the fight with Johnny Curry. And uh, mm-hmm. so he on set, and I look over, I'm like, I, hear, I know his laugh. He, you know, he got that distinctive laugh. Yeah, he got And I hear his laugh. I'm like, bro. He look, he say, what's up, bro, bro? <laughs> He's that little silly laugh he got. <laughs> So he's like, man, what you doing? I'm like, man, you know, I, I act for real. He's like, for real? He's like, man, I ain't never acted. They didn't cast me. I don't know what I'm down here doing. And um, he's like, man, have you met Han? Uh, the director name was Han. He's like, have you met Han? I said, nah, man. So he and, and, and that's how when I've realized the power of proximity. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's about who you know. So as soon as I met Han, he was like, this your guy? He's like, man, that's my, like, like, this my cousin from back home. You know what I'm saying? He was like, oh, we got we, 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 we to get him in more scenes. We got to get him more days. So I went from a one-day shoot, right? Two days on that set, on, on, the, on the set of White Boy Rick. I ended up working like five of those, five of those days. And, uh, you know, they, they it chopped it down to like one scene. You know that I was in, but it was cool. It was a dope experience. Yeah, if I say that the, the experience, the experience mm-hmm. is what matters. 
So and, and you know, getting them credits up, yeah, everything. So yep. t- tell me about the Bobby Brown story. Bobby Brown story was it was real similar. It was a um, it was an extra like back then at that time. I'm like I, I just wanted to get major set experience. Okay. So it was a um, it's a casting. It was an extra casting agency down in Georgia that I applied for. I had just submitted my information, and uh, they ended up calling me. You know, reaching back out saying, "Hey, can you be in? Be in, you know, be on set in like two days?" I'm like, "Oh yeah," you know. Hustled up real quick, got me a flight down there, um, because they said it was only like a one day shoot. So what mm-hmm. I did was, I booked, um, I booked the one way ticket, because I'm like, well, it might be a chance where, you know, because I've seen extras and I, oh, and I, and I really heard of extras getting bumped up, so I just booked the one way ticket down there, got some experience. It didn't work out like that in my favor, but once I, it was a long eighteen hour day, but once I, you know, I. Uh, Got, like I said, got, I got done. I was able to come right back home. So, yeah, Bobby Brown. I had a chance to meet, um, uh, what's his name? Woody. They yeah, got Woody. Act- yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Woody, I'm in Tallahassee. Woody went to fam you. Wow, that's big. That's big. Never yeah, had Woody, a chance to meet him. doing his thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I, um, and I've, I've seen a couple more of your, your movies too, man. So, I saw Birthday Behavior. Mm-hmm. And I, I talked to Ebony about this, and some <laughs> and, uh, and and the faithful movie watchers had to slid out there like, "Hold up, this ain't his first time." Um, <laughs> janking her around, man. Tell me about <laughs> tell me about uh, your experience and everything, and working on Birthday Baby with the rest of the ladies. Man, shout out to Moolah Films. Um, dope, dope, dope casting that they did. Shout out to Ebony, man. Uh, me and Ebony, honestly, and I'm gonna th- I, I, I'll talk about that after I get done. Okay. Um, it, that movie, it was it was so dynamic because it was based upon those those four girls, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, and their relationship or whatever. Uh, my character, clearly, he wasn't worth nothing, you know what <laughs> I mean. Again, he was married; she didn't know about it, and uh, I had a nose <clears> open, <throat> and then here come the other. Uh, here come another good dude, you know, kind of sweeping her off her feet a little bit. She left me high and dry. So <laughs> that's kind of like, to be honest, um, that's kind of like how me and Ebony's characters, when we on set, that's kind of like how they've been. Um, because there's a there's a web series that's out there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all I'm gonna give y'all some something else to watch tonight. Okay. It's a web series entitled Carter and Cody. It's we got two seasons. I got cast in season two. Okay. So, um, and I'm a mess in that man, like a mess, right? Yeah, so, I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me and Ebony's character end up, you know, coming together and all that. And again, I'm a mess, so I ain't gonna spoil that because I know a lot of a lot of people don't even know about that series. When yeah, they go I, back and watch it, it's on I was going through your Instagram and seeing it. I was like, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go check that out. Yeah, it's, it's um, on YouTube. All right, so man. You know, what everybody has been waiting for and <laughs> the questions that everybody's been asking and everybody has been been watching and seeing. Chaos, man, you caused a lot of chaos in a good man, man. Why? What you had going on, bro? Man, shout out to Joe Smith, man, in that writing, man. Um Let's do that. I asked Ebony the same thing. What did you think when you first read the script? When I first read the script at the table read, it was so intense. At the table read, like I'm, I'm married, so okay. um, Joe had already told me certain that you know sexual things that was going to be going on. So I wanted the wife to you know be comfortable, of course. So I said, "Come on to the table read." I'm like, she already know Ebby. You know, I call her my Ebb. She already know Ebb, and she know my. Uh, Ebony best friend Deborah, you know, but I said, but just come on to the table read so y'all can do y'all grill talk and do the due diligence, you know what I'm saying, and be comfortable with it. So, but when we read it, man, I was blown. I was blown. Um, Chaos is he, he, he was your, 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 your street guy, you know what I mean? And um, 
he was very relatable to a old to the old younger me in mm-hmm. a sense and it's from the street wise i had a real zero tolerance you know but i was always smooth about things you know um so it was it wasn't too too hard for me to tap into that but I, what i kept in mind was i've always like been like been cast for like these villain these these, yeah. these sinister roles and I just wanted to be. I wanted to take this, take his character, and make him so much more menacing to the audience. Uh-huh. See, I developed a whole nother, at you know, because I knew it's, the art of storytelling is so dope, right? It's so uh-huh. unique, and you can take it in every approach. So, as the viewer, you 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 realize that you didn't find out. Y'all didn't find out. Um, Ebony was in this relate well. Y'all didn't find out that chaos knew until I actually seen that picture, mm-hmm. right? So at that moment, literally, I made myself hit a switch. Like I'm about to get on the audience's nerve. That's mm-hmm. me focused on the audience, and and that's gonna it's gonna reflect off on how I'm really, you know, getting up under and I'm I'm like belittling Ethan. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So now I could take you to a, 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 the, the scene where he's walking me through the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I purposely, I, I was giving him the side eye. I was purposely doing the smirks, all these different gestures. Because now I, at me, I'm like, I'm going to piss the audience off. So you improving at this point? At this point, because I, I know what the audience, I know how the audience, I know up until this point, like the audience is like, they hurt like, they don't know what's gonna happen next. So yeah. everything that I did was intentionally to get up under the skin of the audience. Okay. Now we're gonna keep rolling, but I don't want to breeze past this for everybody out there listening that may be in the business or trying to get in the business. You heard my man, y'all hear him say how he married and he hollered at his wife and had her come in. Oh, yeah. So she feel comfortable. Now I'm a firm believer when it comes to relationship, do what works for you. So yeah. if something's working for you, let it work. But I just want y'all to peep how he said he did that because my man want to make sure home is straight when he get back home while he out here trying to handle his business. Yeah, that's how we got to do that, man. That's how I've been. I've been able, you know, I've been married twelve years. Okay, uh, congratulations. And 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 I've been able to, you know, I've been in this acting game. Like I said, that that situation went on in like 2000, 2001. So I've been I've been in this acting game 22, 23 years now. You know what I mean? So a lot, a lot of my success comes from the my wife understanding. How, you know, because she went from not understanding to beginning to understand. Now she get it, and she stands behind me ten toes. You know what I'm saying? Like that's who hold me down. That's how I'm able to do what I'm able to do. You know what I mean? Yep. And shout, shout, so shout out to your wife. That's a testament to her. Also a testament to you, because that means you're doing whatever you need to do to, you know, give her the reassurance that she can trust and stand behind you. So shout out, shout out to that. So my man said, "Oh man, you came home early, huh?" I said, yeah. <laughs> Was that in the script? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm finna say, come on, man. That's no. tough, bro. No. no. Again, I know at this point now <laughs> you gotta think. Now watch the art of storytelling. It's at this very moment he knows that that's the guy that he pan. Right now, the audience see the situation already seen the situation. Now it's him seeing it, him witnessing. Right, so in my mind, I got to do something that's gonna be. They already they can't stand me at this point, so I'm gonna make y'all hate him. Right, damn boss, you home a little early, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, listen, that, when that I said listen, because I hadn't said it, I I never said it in a rehearsal. I. I felt that like that's what he would say right there at that right there at that moment, and to piss him off, like for real, to really make him mad. You know what I'm saying? Even to when he had y'all down in the basement, or whatever, you were steady selling out. But I mean, 
really, I mean, if you're going to die, you may as well you, take it to the flow. Like, you, what you, what you going to do now? You know you about to die. <laughs> you get what well, you 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 taped up. You cut. You, you know you. He already didn't beat me in the knees with the hammer. He didn't carve bad boy into my chest. Like it's already over with. You not about to let me walk away from him, dog. So I'm. I, you know what? Back to the audience and him. Now I got. Now I got it. Now I got to move him. I got to move him. Piss the audience off, and just be a complete butthole to to to, to Ari. You know what I'm saying? I can truly oh. say you, Ebony and Kamal, like y'all really sold them roles. I seen something in my research about how y'all shot that scene. It was like a crazy early time in the morning. Yeah. Like, hey, how, how how was tell me about that experience? That had to you had to really show your professionalism then. Yeah, it was you know because that room was small, you know, and um, we on set, you know, set call time was like ten a.m. I think I got there slightly after, I think about 12. But we were from there from like 12 to like 5 a.m. You know, and it people don't, people that want to do this don't realize like this, it's it's a hardship on your body. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And we taking multiple takes, different angles. You got to pull it up, pull it. The hardest part is not really filming. It's when you got to, it's the emotional Thing that you got to bring every take duplicate that you got to match your emotional performance every time it's mental so do yeah. you do you do you draw from like are you able to like turn it on and turn it off or are you drawing from like are you thinking about something that had you feeling like this and drawing from that place when you're so, doing when you're acting emotional yeah so here this i used to do that I've been doing this for so long now. I I know how I know how to cut it on, cut it off. Okay, so you can like crown the man and all that. Yeah, that's 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 that's, that's just a technique. And that's a tool. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times, people get they get they don't know how to cry because they're trying to cry. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, I, you know, I, I teach acting as well. Okay. Yeah, I teach acting as well. I got like uh about. 17 students currently that's up under my you know my up under my my vision you know what I'm that's saying? dope i talked to charnel brown who played kim on a different world yeah and she also in uh the reading with monique and she in houston she got an acting school as well and she said something like 80 or 90 percent of her students are all working yeah and, I, and, she, my, and, she, and she did a movie and used like almost all her students in it yep yep I, mine um, it's mine probably about like 70, about 70, 80 percent. It's, it's, um, one of my students has got a lead role. She, okay. her name Ashley. She just got a lead role in, in, in a film. This was like her third film that she did. She didn't, she didn't land a lead role. Now look, watch this. I've never landed a lead role. But your student. Hey, that's a testament. Hey, hey man. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like. And, that, okay. and I let them know that, like, listen, I'm give, I'm just giving y'all, I'm giving y'all these tools that I wish I had coming in. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not only am I, I'm giving them, you know, tricks and techniques and you know things of that nature. I'm actually teaching them the business too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, how to, how to brand themselves, how to you know structure their social media and things of that nature. Because all, all people, like, when you going up for like the next level, mm -hmm. um. Like the networks really pay attention to all that. They come yeah. find you on your social media, yeah, and see if you are an asset. You know what I mean, or a liability. You know, so I, I yeah. teach them. I, I teach them how to structure that. You know, um, but yeah, man, visuals I matter. Your visual, your vis visual and digital footprint online that don't matter, man. Man, it, it definitely matters. It definitely matters. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't harp on it enough. Like. All right, well, let's have some fun. This is something I ask everybody. All right, yeah. you can't, you can't use this. Is you got to get the answer, got to be celebrities. You can't use independent people to gotcha. make it fun because if you did, I know you'll use all your partners. All right, cool. All right, <laughs> you got a leading role in a blockbuster film. You're gonna co star two movies one, you're gonna co star with another woman, 
one you gonna co-star with another man who you yeah. who you filming with your choice regina king and denzel washington regina king come up a lot her and both regina's her and regina hall that's yeah. amazing so all right the movie with you and regina king what it's about movie with me and regina king um i want to make her i want to i want us to be like lawyers mm -hmm. i want i want i want i want to be the prosecutor i want her to be a defense attorney hmm hmm that's how her, her passion her passion and it's 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 like it's all it's almost unmatched man when she get in her bag and yeah, and shout out to Regina, uh, Regina King, because I've been watching her since two two seven, and she's like getting her flowers now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that's two two seven. That was one of the shows that I was kicked back with Granny. Granny. So yeah, part man. Reason, she's part of the reason why I'm like I can do this. You know what I'm saying? I, like a, I look at her like a big sister. Okay. Now, you and Denzel, what mm -hmm. y'all doing? We a father and son situation. Okay. And uh, I want I would want I would want to do cause I would want it to be like fences, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't I, I I wanted to bring I wanted it to be the modern day. Okay. You know, I wanted to be, I would want to I want to do something similar to fences, but definitely something more modern. Okay. Okay. Now, you have the opportunity to remake. Any movie you want, one of your favorite movies, or just a movie you may want to remake. What are you remaking? Um, I'm going to remake Great Debaters. Okay. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna remake the Great Debaters. Okay. I want to. I want to add. I want to add me into the cast, of course. And who else? Who else in the cast? I would love to bring on Jamie Fox and Will Smith. Interesting. Yeah, I would want Will Smith to be the token black guy. I would mm. want Jamie Fox to be um the the now drunk that has he's just like a plethora of knowledge though, know, but nobody takes him serious. And who gonna play the one? Um, Ali Denzel. Where he at? Well, um. The uh, Miss uh, Smoulette, um, the girl who gonna play the girl who gonna play her role? Uh, ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one, bro. You know, you know, you know, you know who you need? Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor. Oh my god. I ain't gonna. I ain't even mad at that. I ain't even just, mad at that. Just quick, just quick off the dome. You know. Yeah, I mean? ain't even mad at that, man. I ain't even mad at that at all. I was, I was trying to go through these little, man, because there's so many up and coming talents that's just breaking through from everywhere. I was just trying to. I, I, I and, and shout out to Tiana Taylor because she's a beast. She's mm -hmm. a beast. Yeah, I would love to see that. That, that would man, be dope. How, how does that work in Detroit? Like you say, you ride around and somebody always shoot. So what? Because I've done movies and stuff, and I'm a writer as well, so I'm familiar mm -hmm. with the process. But so I know people are writing and directing. And like, what's going on? Like, what's the process up there? It seems like it's movies and stuff are just constantly being shot. So what's the like? What's happening? Like, what's really like the process up there with that? How Detroit, it work? Detroit. We have we have a mentality. We had a mentality that we get overlooked a lot, right? We have a talent. When so we we say Detroit versus everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I think y'all the first city that started that versus everybody yeah. thing we, too. We definitely, we, we definitely the first. Uh, shout out! I can't think of homie name right now. But I, yeah, I, shout I, out I remember to, that shout from out. back with like Trick Trick and all that. Yeah, like they just went. And that was the purpose. Shout out to Trick Trick, that no fly zone, right? Mm -hmm. That that was the purpose of that. See, these rappers was coming here getting this money, but wasn't tapping in with the, the artists that's here. Like what I mean by tapping in, like okay, y'all getting money, but how is y'all what y'all do? How, what y'all doing for the? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Throw a dog a bone, put a nigga on a feature, do something, blow it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it, it, it's it's not none of that. Like yeah. we get we get like cold shouldered, we get like you know pushed to the back burner. But now, you know, 
shout out to T Grizzly as far as that that, that music that new okay. that music run that we on shout out he he opened the, he opened the floodgates you know for a lot of rappers here you know now we got oh we got we got other hip hop you know not hip hop but just you know rappers mm-hmm. that's dynamic lyrically yeah. that yeah. came before him but he he was that one like that the newer generation that, yeah he yeah, was the I, one that opened he kicked the floodgates open and now we here we not going nowhere. You know yeah, I, mean? I messed yeah. with I messed with him in D12, and then I I love Big Sean, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But then yeah. It's, yeah, it's a man, it's a it's a host of people. But see, even uh, even with and shout out to Sean, shout out to him, right? And it's no what I'm about to say, ain't no disrespect to them. It's just the truth. It's just it's still they Detroit, but Detroit is now here. Mm. If that makes sense, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, like. For real, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I get, I get. But, I know, I know so exactly what you're saying. We got so when, when, so back to the film game. Um, we not waiting on nobody. Oh, you know, we I, had, I can tell. <laughs> we had listen. We had the film tax credit. Snyder, our old raggedy governor, signed off and vetoed it. You know, we had Transformers on deck. We had Detroit 187 on deck. People was working. And we once we he took that away and, and we lost that 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 uh, film tax credit, Atlanta blew up because they it, that's where it went to next. So people you know, don't know I, people don't know about that. That's y'all need to study that game. The film tax credits, man. You got, you got to know that. Where films get shot at, I know they got one. I don't know if they still have it, but I know they got it. In, they had it in Mississippi. I went to an acting class in Mississippi. Yeah. in like 2015 2016 and it was explained the the tax credit they have there and a right. lot of movies was being shot there and people didn't know didn't know it and that was the reason why that, that was the reason why like see a lot of like it'd be the film's tax credit be in a lot of these little smaller cities right and so what happened when i'm the game i'll be giving a lot of people to just be having money and don't know what to do with it before mm-hmm. before we even did before detroit even got really really hot Right, because we got really, really hot. I don't like to say it, but it's the truth. We got hot, like extremely hot, during the pandemic. Because when everybody was in the house and they people was watching TV, yeah. So we we was home before then, but we, I'm talking about really hot. So um, I was trying, to, I would try to tell guys like that I knew they had that bag. Like, hey man, you might want to throw up a studio, and you know, one of these smaller cities that got the tax credit. You know, go get you a, if it's a building, a commercial building, gut it out, it, you know, frame it up. You know what I'm saying? You can turn, as long as you can turn it into whatever they need, mm-hmm. you know, then you can go. You can create a bag. You know what I mean? So fast forwarding, that's what's going on here now. So our, our, our governor is highly aware of um, what we're doing in the city. She's, she's aware. It's just a matter of that bill coming back across her desk. You know what I'm saying? So if it makes it back up there, if it makes that coming back, you know, it comes back up there. Certain people that's in, that's in position now. Uh, Dennis Reed is one of them. Lisa Brown is another one. Uh, you know, shout out to Lisa Brown. She cast me in season two of Dirty D. Um, they're building studios. Shout out to Moolah Film Studios. They 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 know what time it is. So those people, and then and I I, and I know it's probably more. I'm just them the people I work with. Um, they, nah. This is important stuff because see how you say when the bill come back across, see, this is the stuff you need to be voting on in your local elections and stuff. The, yeah. things, that, the things that matter to you locally, y'all, y'all got to pay attention to this yep. stuff. This certain, and then again, like back to you, bro, this is this stuff that I teach in my class. Like I don't have a typical acting class. You're not going to come just stand in front of me and do a monologue and I'm going to tell you, do it. No, no, no. I'm giving you, I'm really giving you some game. So when you leave me, you're going to be that, you're going to be 1% better than you was when you came in, you know? Um, so yeah, shout out to those people when they, when these things get in position, cause it's not, it's not if it's when they, they yep. already in position and then they're going to be getting them jobs. They're going to be getting them. Hey, look, you know what I mean? Um, I was hearing stories and, 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 and witnessing stories about how like you know because they shooting bmf down there they shooting bmf excuse me son text me now uh mm-hmm. they shooting bmf down in atlanta right mm-hmm. man his people get down there getting twenty or thirty thousand dollars just because a van might be partially blocking their driveway 
And you gotta, hey, can we use this piece of your property right quick? Twenty, thirty thousand. What? How long you need to be out there? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that, that's 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 healing. That's restoring the feeling in your community. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, the mom and pops, the small stores. You know what I mean? That's they getting more business because they they need certain amenities that they can they can bring to the table. Like everybody eats. When these type, when these when these films is able to be shot, everybody eat. Yeah, everybody provides, eat. Provides employment. Everybody, it, it's floral like floral shop. Like like if you got like a flower shop, like you gonna make you gonna make money when they film it. Every damn near every excuse my language, dang it, every movie or every something got flowers in it. Yeah, of some sort. You know what I mean? So it's mm-hmm. just it's just something like just the thought of it excites me, man. Um, you know, because I, I seen what it was, I seen what it was when it was here. Now, um, before I let you go, now before you get out of here, you just said you cast on Dirty D season two. Everybody waiting on that too, man. What can you tell us about season two? A pick right up, a pick right up where it left off. Like the way Lisa Brown sculpted this thing out, it was it is it, it's hot. This is how power would go off and come back on. Like she, and when I tell you, she got some spins, some twists, some turns, some unexpected things, man. Listen, man, shout out to Lisa Brown and Plush Productions, man. Splurge, Buck, my, uh, my homie Brick, like they, man. <laughs> Listen, it's hot, man. I'm telling you, like that series, when she dropped it, and I love that she taking her time and going yeah. through it, like scene by scene, because everything is in post now. You know what I mean? She ain't rushing it. She ain't she because when she drop it, is the numbers is gonna go through the, 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 it's, it's gonna be worth it. Trust me. I, okay. I was able at the premiere. The premiere was a couple weeks ago, April first to be exact. Yeah, that man. was like episode one, right? Yep. She showed episode one and half of episode two. Cut it right off in the half, like right when we was about to find out who the baby, who baby it was. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, she cut it right off. So, um purposely done but it was it was masterfully done as well you know what i mean so yeah shout out to lisa man i definitely love that opportunity um because it's just it's just adding on and um i got i just got some great great news man i just that i can't share right now but uh i just got casted for something major Man, uh, everybody working. That's my last few interviews. Said the same yeah, thing. That's like, I'm about. I'm about to roll into you. Let me know. Yeah, no, you chaos from a good man. But I want you to tell the people the stuff that you got out that they need to watch and the things they need to be looking forward to. And everybody saying, "Hey, man, just got some big news. Can't share it yet, though." Yeah, and hey, shout out to y'all. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've, I've got. Let me say this: I've got cast for a major network. Um. Uh, of course, I got the Dirty D coming. I got Gunplay coming. Shout out to uh, Casey Carson. I got Karma coming. Karma's uh, from the homie uh, Splurge, right up under uh, uh, Splurge, Top Nuts, Splurge, and, and Plush Production. I seen. Uh, I think I seen a graphic for Karma. Who who else is in that? Uh, we got Emery Lawrence, myself. We got McKeever Aubrey. McKeever. That's what yeah. I thought I seen. I got to get home to show. Shout out McKeever, man. Love yeah, McKeever. man. McKeever's so silly, dog. So down to earth, man. Um. What else I got coming? I got uh um I got a Christmas movie coming, man, later this year. Okay. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. Shout out to shout out to Jada and Dom. Um I can't even think of the name of it right now. But yeah, I got that Christmas movie coming. And um I'm about to I don't know if you you, you familiar with Diesel, Kamel, Hassan. Hold on. Yeah, what, His name what you- his name is Kamel Diesel Hassan. That's Trick Trick Brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the actor. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, he was oh, he just, just, he and, um from Dirty D and yep, all the McGra- yeah, yeah. All yeah, 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 yeah. I know yeah, you're talking he just, about. He he's about to do he's about to do his next film. He just cast me for that. It's called Master Master Dragon. Y'all boys, it's boys, a, boys. Look, look, it's a karate movie. Oh, <laughs> get your Bruce Leroy. Get my Bruce Leroy. <laughs> hey man, but look, y'all heard it, man. King Wesley the swung by. 
he he been angering all y'all and a good man. Y'all go check it out. It's on Tubi. Hey, let the people know your social media handles and stuff and where they can find you. Man, listen, y'all come talk all y'all junk, all y'all mess on Facebook at King Wesley. Come come tear my come tear my Instagram up in the comments so I can talk back. Man, at King Wesley Official. That's K I N G W E S L E Y Official. You know, come kick it with me, man. I, you know, you're gonna see some stuff on my page. Uh, I got a lot of I got a new series on the way. Dang, how did I forget this one? This was a big one. I'm about to give you some groundbreaking news. Okay. H H block. H block oh. is the H block is the prequel to McGraw Ave. Um shout out yeah. now. I talked to Marietta Elliott. She broke yeah. that. She broke yep. that when I talked to her to, about H block. Oh man. Yeah, that's whoo. Yeah, I, man, how did I forget that? Everybody waiting on McGraw ass season three, and they got a All prequel right. coming. Up, man. They got Y'all. the pre- they got the prequel coming. We gonna we, we gonna we uh they working on that. We just wrapped um a few episodes last week actually, um, but yeah, all that's coming, man. Shout out to the boys over at Moolah Films, man. Hey, well there it is, man. Again, another smoke screen exclusive. We got the talented King Wesley, hey man, because like in talking. You were cool. You're nothing like the character, man. So that's definitely some good damn acting you was doing, man. man. You just like you got an evil twin. (laughs) But see, that's what other thing I love about acting. Like you can be anybody. You know what I'm saying? You you, you can be anybody. You can be anybody, you know. So hey, y'all type in his name on Tubi and uh Google it and see all the movies, man. Y'all go check it out. And man, I appreciate you for swinging by, man. This has been another smoke screen exclusive, and we are out.